Am I the asshole? For telling my Dil she wasn't invited due to her weight. We have done plenty of things that are not physically taxing with her, but even the small stuff she ends up on a bench half the day. We went to a small mall, half the day on the bench. It was window shopping. She is obese, her ankles are swollen from her weight. The connection between her weight and not walking far without a break is very obvious. Post. I will try to keep this short. I have three girls and we still like to do girl trips for the day. My son got married to a girl named Beth. Now before her first kids she was average weight and after it got a lot worse. Her only kid is eight years old at this point and she hasn't lost the weight. It's bad enough that she needs constant breaks walking. I used to like her and now I don't due to how she acts. Everywhere we go with her it is constant complaining that she is tired. The last girl's trip to the mall was spent sitting on a bench half the day since she needed constant break. If you try to leave she will go on about abandoning her. It's annoying. I invited the girls to go to a farm for pumpkin patch and pick some apples. It has big orchards and a ton of walking. We went it was a great time and some pictures went on Facebook. I got a call from Beth asking why she wasn't invited. I lied saying it was just a family trip and she accused me of lying. I had enough and told her the truth. I told her she wasn't invited to her weight. That she forces us to stop all the time and it ruins the trips most days since we don't get to do half the stuff. She called me a jerk and hung up. I am getting texts from my som saying to apologize but the girls are on my side and are sick of having trips ruined since we have to wait for her all the time. I'm not as small as I used to be. If I know there is a lot of walking in an activity I am being invited on, I decline and say you know my knees are just not up to it. She needs to use her own common sense. Mill calls and invites her to do a 5 mile hike, she knows she can't do it, say maybe next time we can do something. Mill calls and says we are going to the mall for lunch and window shop. Say sure that's great I will join you for lunch and then leave, you know I'm not much for walking the mall. Not the asshole, but I would have explained nicer. Maybe frame it like you are looking out for her. Sorry didn't think you'd want to do all that waking. Last time we walked a lot, you needed lots of rest and complained the whole time. That leaves it open for her to realize her own shortcomings. And if she says she wants to go, you say okay, but we aren't taking a bunch of breaks. Are sick of having trips ruined since we have to wait for her all the time. At the risk of being called fatphobic, good for you. Not the asshole why should your trips revolve around her? Why should you be forced to plan outings that are within your dill's step limit? Finally, you're free to only invite your actual daughters to things, too. You aren't blocking her from any and all family gatherings. She just got blocked from this one which I hope is the first of many trips you and your daughters have been putting off for her sake. Get out there and see the world. It's lovely. I'm overweight and I completely see Op's point. Whenever we go anywhere, I spend most of the time either sitting on a bench, in a cafe, or in the car, depending on where we go. I just read ebooks while I wait. I like to go on trips with the family but I don't mind being abandoned, in fact I prefer it, rather than thinking I'm spoiling it for them. Not the asshole. It's not because of her weight it's because of her inability to keep up. Not the asshole but got to explain it better. Info do you invite her to girls days that don't involve a lot of walking? Not the asshole. She insists on going to all events, then complains and won't let anyone go on without her to keep having fun. If she was the least bit considerate about it and tried to compromise I'd change my vote but since she's not and just wants everyone to suffer with her, not the asshole. Natar. You are free to invite who you want for whatever reason. ESH. The problem isn't her size per se, it's her fitness. If it is size itself, the you are the R. But what you complain about is that she can't fully participate and holds you back. Fat people can be physically active. 
Instead of telling her that her lack of fitness was the issue, you focused on her size. This was both hurtful and inaccurate unless you have been dishonest about your reasons, with us and possibly yourself. And Dill was a bit over the top, probably because you hit a sore spot. This isn't about her weight, it's about her making the trips about her and refusing to let you have a good time because of her FOMO. She's the one who needs to address her inability be good company on the daughter trips. If that means she needs to lose weight, fine, but your issue isn't with her weight it's with her being an absolute energy suck and spoil sport. Clarify that to your son and Dill. ETA not the asshole. Up is kind of a weight snob. She states that her son's wife was average weight before they had kids, but after the kids, it got worse. Not, it got bad, it got worse. Implies that she already thought average weight was bad. Finally, you're free to only invite your actual daughters to things, too. Finally an excuse to be free of this fake family member is tripping over possibly the only way to be the asshole here. This could have been handled with so much more grace and empathy. You could have told her in advance that you were going on a girl's trip without her. Instead you decided to lie like a coward. You got caught and are mad that she was upset about it? You could have expressed that the concern is for her health and ability to keep up. You could have expressed that you didn't want her to feel left out because the activity is rigorous. Instead you, and your daughters, treated her like shit for not bouncing back after birth in your grandchild. Your son has every right to be pissed. You're the asshole. You're, You're the asshole there's a way to be truthful without hurting feelings. This was a day with lots of standing and walking and we didn't think you would enjoy it. As you recall, we have had to cut trips short or skip activities we had planned because the walking was too much and you complained about us wanting to continue without you. I am sorry that you feel excluded but we felt it was better to have this experience as mother and daughters rather than leaving you on a bench alone somewhere. It is because she whines and complains and wants everyone to be limited like she is. All she would have to do is be pleasant and set it up so she takes breaks and meets up with the rest of you later. It is not about her limitations, it is about her demanding that no one else gets to go at their own pace. I have physical limitations and try my hardest not to temper others' activity when I can't do things. It is possible in fact it is a lot more fun. I've learned to do more sedate things places so I enjoy myself too. Here's the thing I don't think you actually have an issue with her weight, this is really about how she acts. If you had first told her it was about how she acts toe, she likely would have blamed it on her weight and still said that you were being fat phobic which is never okay but again not what I think that you're doing. You're not the asshole but I think the relationship with her and your son won't improve until she's ready to own how she acts and have a conversation about it. So I'm not going to give a judgment, but going to say that that level of fatigue isn't normal and it's worth considering an underlying medical condition. I'm considered obese 40-42 BMI and live a very sedentary life in addition to a chronic pain disease but I can go for a day in a pumpkin patch and apple orchard without having to sit down, much less walking around a mall. 